Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Base, the arid planet on NG49. Ah, oh, it's been a long break. There it goes, turn off those domes. Uh, I haven't played this game in several days. I've been out at a conference and I have been missing it. But first, I think I want to go over the comments, because thanks everybody for all the views in the comments. Uh, the first one... Wait, let's make sure nobody's going to die. Okay, okay, I've got this on slow. The first one, I will catalog this under constructive criticism. <laughs> For the love, like those meteors are incredibly loud. What was it, like right over here? You guys, I can't I can't have a meteor fall and I don't find it. Ah, it was right behind me. Okay, perfect. Somebody said, the third person that came in as a colonist um, that arrived the second time the colonists arrived just went to another building. Why are most YouTubers often blind? Well, dear friend, thank you for your constructive criticism. That's what I'm going to log that under. Well, it is difficult to play and play effectively and to record and kind of add some comments and stuff like that. So I do miss things from time to time, and I apologize if that upset you. But I will try to do better, my friend. And uh, yes, I did notice that the... The people just kind of go to the buildings immediately. Like, I don't really have time to uh, to figure out where they are. It'd be nice if there's a little prompt saying the ones that did come. But uh, it looks like that's not necessarily the case. Okay, so like I said, it's been a few days since I have been in here. Looks like, okay, we've got a lab. Uh, we've got our two mines. We really need to start. Oh, we need med supplies. Do we have a production facility? Um, we've got raw goods. We've got a medical lab. Oh crap, we're in the situation where we actually need to start making medical supplies. So why don't I do this and we'll just say, hey, high priority, work that bad boy. Perfect. We're doing okay on power, it looks like. Let's go ahead and check the grid and make sure that we're doing fine on oxygen. We are. Oh wow, I could bring in a lot more people. I like a lot. I need a living quarters and it looks like Looks like people are a little hungry, and a little sleepy, and they're hurt. So we need to take care of the hurt first, which we've got the medical plants. Um, how many biologists do I currently have? I have seven. So I think I'm going to increase the production of overall foods. Um, because, yeah, like we, we really need to do that. Let's see. Those are medicinal plants, so we're fine there. That'll be good. Let's go ahead. Oh, we've got a lot of that. We need vitro beet. That's what we really need. How are we doing on starch, though? Let's go ahead and make ourselves a rice patty, just for funsies. And, uh, and then we'll also probably prioritize this for the workers. So the workers will work on this, and uh, the medical personnel will actually come over here and fix these darn things. So that'll be good. I'm tempted to put in another... Another... Uh, oh! Oh! Oh no! We need variety of food. That's what's going on. Okay, so this is going to spiral out of control if I don't address this right away. So what? here's what's going on. If your people do not have enough variety of food, they will get the malnutrition debuff, and you can only get rid of that through medical supplies. So hopefully this trade ship has med supplies, because I'll straight up buy those right away. And they don't. Yay. Now they do have a drill bot, which would be really nice. We're doing okay on ore. But uh, I want to I wanna get up to a robot facility here soon. I'm going to leave him there for a minute. But uh, in the meantime, you know what? I'm not going to build another bed yet. I'm going to go ahead and speed things up a little bit to speed two. And hopefully the, uh, the medic will come over here and actually work this. So this is making chicken. I think the next, the next two we're going to do beef and pork. So that's what we'll do to add some food variety. So like this one, we'll do beef. And the other one, we'll do pork. And there we go. We've got a medic working the station, taking plastic and medicinal supplies, and actually creating med supplies. So that'll be used immediately, but somebody will be able to go back to work, which is really what we want to do. Yeah, and see, this needs to be worked as well. People are kind of sad, too. I need to um, I need to add some entertainment right here. So let's go ahead and put a TV in while they're, while they're just chilling here and eating and doing all the good stuff. We'll just kind of round everything out. Power is the most important, you know, oxygen. Um, food, water, those things are important, but you gotta keep people happy and you gotta keep them healthy as well. Like finishing off med supplies is pretty dang important. 
So that's chicken. Let's turn that to pork. This is going to be beef, and that's going to be chicken. Uh, so there we go. We're going to have a lot of a lot of different food variety. Now it looks like we do have two meal makers here, and then one additional meal maker there. So I think we're okay. I think people have food. They have water. What we need to start working into is um, the production plant to actually start making spares. Oh wait, we already have that here. We have the factory. Perfect. And we have. Okay, there we go. The spares workshop. That's being worked. So we need more workers and we need more engineers right now, I think. In fact, let's go ahead and back up. Let's take a look at the overall stats. Uh, I've got a lot of workers. Yeah, actually, I need engineers and biologists, I think. Let's go ahead and have colonists coming in again. And I would like another medic. But I'll make that as a specific request. Let's just go ahead and bring in more people. I think I'm fine with that. I'm going to go ahead and crank this up to speed 4. Because I'm, I'm feeling somewhat comfortable with the way things are going right now. I do have priority set here for the biologist to get us some variety of food. So we don't get more people kind of complaining about um, lack of food stocks. We've got the entertainment going on there. So hopefully people will be a little bit happier. But we've got actually several people that, that have the debuff of they're hurt or whatever right um, so I'm I wanted to build another bed here but that will take more plastics and I'd rather those plastics be used right now to start making these med supplies like they need to come here and start doing this so we did heal one person it looks like because a med supply was taken up but we need more we need more people to, to start working that so let's get one round of colonists and then I think I actually need to make sure we get a medic because that's gonna be super important so they'll work this and actually, uh, and actually get these medical supplies done. So we need plastic right here. If somebody could bring that one plastic over here, that would be great so that we can finish up this med supply too. So this will be done, and it looks like we have a few people that are hurt. This guy's got a broken leg or whatever, but we have another broken leg, and it looks like two malnutrition, uh, and another broken leg. So what, four people that need to be healed in one way, shape, or form? Food's going up quite a bit, that's very good. Um, but these plastics really need to go up. Our starch supply needs to go up. Um, it looks like these aren't fully supplied. Actually, that's not too bad. And it's being worked right now. So I think we're in a good position. Uh, once we bring in more colonists, we'll have more people actually able to, to work on these kind of things. So it looks like they did finish. Oh, they didn't finish the med supplies there. And we still don't have a plastic there, which, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. All right. All right. This is what we're talking about. I'm going to slow this down. That's green. That's a biologist. So what, we got one person? Okay, so I'm not seeing anybody else. That kind of sucks. Um, well, that's okay. I really want I want a pass of actually getting more workers so these facilities will be worked a little bit more. You know, honestly, I think I could just turn this off. Let's just turn off one of those mines so that more people don't actually get hurt. Do you have med supplies? No, you do not. That kind of sucks. Um, this bot patent would be very good to get right now. But as you can see, I really don't have a ton of supply, extra supply. We could get one more carry bot that would help just move more things around. And that would help with med supplies actually being produced. But I think right now, I think we're okay. I think I'm going to speed this back up to speed four. I think we're all right for now. Uh, it looks like we've got the supplies here. Hopefully a medic will come here. And actually worked out a little bit more. But somebody else was healed. Oh, this poor guy is just like, what about me? What about my leg? No, that's a negative Ghost Rider. Um, you know what? And just to show some, some good faith here with my colonists, I will build a second bed for you, friends. We'll have two there. So the medics know there's another person waiting. We need more workers to be secretaries to, like, get them on the ball here. Because they kind of they kind of make things go around. I'm going to go and dismiss because I really want more colonists. All right, perfect. Another carry bot would really help because, look, these aren't getting moved right now. So this person will not do anything until the malnutrition is fixed. And the malnutrition cannot be fixed unless they have medical supplies. So they're, like, vitamin deprived or something. All right, so we do have four medicinal supplies, uh, medicinal plants. Oh, no! Oh, the processing plant got jacked! Oh no! And the no, no, no! That's horrible. Okay, we got another biologist. Oh, that sucks so bad. 
Oh no, I need to change permissions. I need more workers. And uh No, I don't I don't want that many engineers. Let's do more workers. I want workers and medics and and some engineers. Wow. What horrible luck. I'm glad that guy didn't die of a lack of oxygen cuz he just got smashed. So I love how this planet says it's like low meteors. It doesn't feel that way to me, guys. All right, I think we're doing really good on power. In fact, we're kind of tapping it out. We've got a lot of uh, metal. It might be a good idea to go ahead and build another collector just to have that ready to go. It never hurts to, to ha kind of have that for a rainy day. So let's go ahead and do another power collector. The bed's been built in the medical facility. That's good. We'll connect that up right here. So that's going to cost us five metal, which I'm not too terribly worried about. Looks like we do have an engineer working this. So this is taking plastic too. But if we run out of these supplies, we're going to die. So, uh, kind of important. We, we've got the plastic there. That's going to be worked. So people are eventually getting treated. Um, and we do have a better variety of food. So we're kind of dealing with the problem a little bit better now. So I'm not as worried about it. Okay, um, orange is a medic. Okay, so now I'm going to change the permission because I really don't want another medic. And I don't want guards. I need... What do I need? Workers? I really need workers and, and a couple engineers. And maybe another biologist. Yeah. 50, 20, 30? Yeah, let's just do that mix. We'll speed things back up to 4 again. Sandstorm imminent. I don't have controls um, over my people, so I can't force them to stay inside. I could actually, you know what, let's just cancel that so people will not bring supplies there. So we'll just cancel that for now. Hopefully people will come inside and won't get injured. We still have two people that are really injured right now. Uh, this guy is finishing up finishing up on the workbench. But look, we've got supplies for both. So hopefully a medic. There's a medic. We'll come over here and start working this. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to get ahead of things. We're going to get ahead of things. And then for the biologist, I believe that's rice. This is tomato, onion. Okay, we don't actually have another medicinal plant here. I feel like that's bad. Oh, one of the other comments was that I should be building a couple trees. that will help with happiness and with a little bit of oxygen. So let's go ahead and build a tree as well. Because um, it says that it kind of loses oxygen at night, which I think is completely ridiculous and not scientifically sound. Oh, snap. I see you over there. You get away from my stuff. All right, we've got ourselves a trade ship. Med supplies, maybe? And they've got med supplies. Let's go ahead and get uh, as much as we can. I think, oh, that's perfect. Let's go ahead and even this out. There we go, three med supplies. Let's make that trade, that's gonna be perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and queue up the building of the uh, power collector again out here, since the sandstorm is gone. Oh, those supplies are sitting right there. Um, yeah, we'll just do it here. That's fine. So that'll take five metal. We got, we've got five metal. A few of those are going to go from the tray, but I'm not too worried about it. So med supplies, yes! Oh, that's such a good, a good, uh, turn of luck. Now we did put in the other TV, which is going to help these guys be a little bit happier. And I feel like I should just go ahead and make, let's just make a big table here for these peeps. And, um, let's make another a meal maker. There we go. And we really need to start getting into the robot facility. So I need to make a, a semiconductor foundry as well. But, um, cause this is under control. We're, we're eventually going to make everybody nice and healthy and it's going to be fine. See that person just got all healed up. The next person's going to get healed up or we're going to be good. We're bringing in more colonists to actually work this stuff a little bit more. See, there you go. He's laying down. They're going to be fine now. Sleeping quarters is right there. Well, actually I need another sleeping quarters. What do we have for the grid? We're at 27 out of the 52. Now 52? Oh, that must be because we've got the, the pine tree. Oh my goodness. Who the heck knew? Probably everybody watching. Let's go ahead and make ourselves one of those wonderful uh, dorms. And like we always say, oh, should we do a big one? We can do a big one. I think, we'll, I think that'll be fine. Let's do a big one. Let's plan ahead. Um, where is the oxygen? It's right there. Okay, this flow is going to be okay. And then that'll take five metal. It'll take four plastic. I hear those meteors just screaming in here. It's not good. 
And like I said, I think we only need the one. Whoa, actually, we're completely out of ore. I need a driller bot. We're completely out of ore, aren't we? Oh my goodness. Turn that bad boy back on. Look at that power collector. I guess this one's going down. The window pick back up and we'll start to even out a little bit more. Seriously? Like, this planet is trying to kill us. What's wrong with you? You're just a sad sack. Let's do a dorm and we'll do a place for people to be all happy and whatnot. Oh no! One of our robots is irreversibly damaged. Yeah, we've really got to get on uh, having that done. Alright, who, who are we going to get? Looks like an engineer, or is that a medic? No. Okay, there's a worker. Very good. And then, yeah, an engineer. Okay. So I think that's fine. Workers and engineers are going to be good. Um, I think we should focus more on the workers. But we'll let it ride for now. We'll let it ride. I really want to work these even more. And I think now that we've gotten a little bit ahead of the medical supplies, people are going to be good. I think no one else is sick. Look at that. No one else is sick. Fan-freaking-tastic. All right, I'm going to take the priority off of this for now and just let them work that like they normally would. We've got a lot of supply going on here. Uh, we're not full, which is very good. Power storage is low. Really? That's kind of interesting. So one of our carrier robots was, was irreversibly damaged. But I think if we get a drill bot, we'll be able to uh, do more work in the mines and not have people injured as much which I think is even more important. But look, we really don't have anything worth of value to actually trade. <laughs> Dang it. All right, let's just dismiss them for now. Crap. Crap. All right, well, we I turned on the other mines. We really need to start working both of those. There's only there's two workers there, one worker there. It looks like one went over there. They had a dispute, I'm sure. So we're going to get both of those working like they should. Hopefully we'll get ourselves in some more basic worker dudes. And uh, we can continue to expand that out a little bit more. So the fact that we are low on power is really concerning. Um, which means during the day I really don't have enough collectors. And then at night I really don't have enough of these turbines. So I think I'm going to build a turbine over here by this power collector. Let's build a big guy. Uh, a four metal one. Yeah. We'll just connect that right in there. Yeah. And I didn't see who that was. It looks like an engineer and somebody else. Oh, wait. Oh, two engineers. Okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's check the grid. We're doing okay. Let's check the overall number. We're at 9 and then 10 and then 9. So what I'm going to do is change the permissions. I just want a bunch of workers real quick. I think we'll be fine. I think I've got enough biologists. We've got enough food going on there. So uh, I'm not as worried about it. So basically, we're building two things right now. Oh, the dorm is done. Very nice. And the oxygen's going in there. That's perfect. We really need more starchy foods, though, don't we? So let's go ahead and um, let's put in a potato plant. There we go. I'm really leery about just putting a ton of stuff in there. I feel like that's not the most helpful. Um, I'm going to queue up two of these. I know we don't have a lot of plastics. But I want to go ahead and get these in there so I don't forget about it. Because people need somewhere to sleep, dang it. Alright, so we said we're going to do the dorm. Uh, we've got the parts factory going here nice and strong. So that's good. We do need the conductor, uh, the semiconductor place. And then we need to build a robot facility. Once we build a robot facility, we're going to be sitting in a much better place. Because then we can start automating a lot of that work. Alright, who? Do we, how many are we going to get? We know what we're going to get. We're going to just get workers. Alright, well we got one worker. That's That's good. We'll just let that uh, ride out and, and stay where it needs to be. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I appreciate everybody for joining. appreciate all the comments and the constructive criticism. hope you guys know I'm just teasing on that. I, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching regardless. A good comment, harsh comment, uh, it's all good feedback. So I've, I'm trying to slow down as I bring these in so I can see them a little bit better. So thanks, everybody, for joining. Don't forget to like favorite, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Say goodbye to all these poor people. Meteors are falling like crazy. All right, later.